right? Religion. I would never give up my religion. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather die. All right, people. Let's no, I would. I would be fine being sent on a mission to somewhere that I would die because I know I would die because my patron is blessed. Russia. Three-year-olds, it's time to stop playing. Hey, we're, we're speaking. Done. Yes, deep mommy. Doctrine. All right, don't you? <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> no, that I am your not sister. Free. All right, not for long. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna move on. <laughs> King Bloopers won. Hey, I'll be prepared, y'all. <laughs> y'all here, you see this guy right there? You see you all need to be prepared. Well, be prepared, I tell you. Now, if you wouldn't excuse me. <laughs> no. Hello, dear. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to Are you my mommy? No, no, no. No, no. We're not here to produce bloopers. Get a move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start. Oh, sorry. Um, so, here we are. Thank you. Here in Belmont, there is a girl, Portia. Sorry, people. I believe who has been forced in her father's will to not marry anyone until what the right suitor chooses the correct box. Many suitors have tried and failed to do this. He's sworn to secretly, secrecy, sadly, but here we're gonna have Portia. She's been sworn to secret, uh, secrecy as well. Oh my gosh, I can't do this! Ah! Alright, so in order to take up this challenge, I'm almost. <laughs> what was that? I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Oh, you did? What? In order to take up this challenge, a man must vow that he, uh, if he chooses incorrectly, he must leave his fa my father's house immediately. He must never speak of or seek matrimony as long as he shall live. And as a pre precaution to keep others from discovering the answer, the suitor must never speak of which chest they chose or what was discovered inside. <laughs> He must leave my father's house immediately. He must never speak or seek matrimony as long as he shall live. And as a precaution to keep others from discovering the answer, the suitor must. <laughs> I made the mistake of looking up. <laughs> In order to take up this challenge, a man must vow that if he chooses incorrectly, he must leave my father's house immediately. <laughs> In order to say. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Camera. <laughs> what are we looking at? <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Welcome back to Channel 9 for Shakespeare and Me. Pop stories tonight. Two couples have been found after being lost in the Athenian woods for a night. They are alive and attacked, but they mentally. Maybe not so much. They have claimed having dreams that involve serpents. They've been chasing strange voices in the night. 
and apparently hallucinatory drugs were involved. And um, our next highlight story will be held in Belmont, where there are reports local of a very curious case of a certain girl. What a case of a certain girl. Nobility. And um, I would not get anything else on that. Uh, we'll send you off to uh, somebody who's on location. I don't know if they're newscast. I'm, I'm totally messed up. Welcome back to Channel 9 for Shakespearean News. Our top stories tonight, two couples have been found after being lost in the Athenian woods. They are physically fine and intact and alive, but mentally it's questionable at best. They claim to have hallucinatory drugs being involved and being following strange voices in the night. Uh, dreams of serpents eating them. Dead people shaking your chair. Uh, and. <laughs>